Greetings, everybody. Welcome to the Dreams and Visions series. I'm going to go through the Bible every place where uh, dreams appears. Take your King James Bible and go to Job chapter 7. Uh, Bible scholars, a lot of the ones that I respect, think that Job is the oldest book in the Bible, and I tend to agree with them. A lot of uh, stuff in Job. So uh, this is uh, Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. And John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Job 7, verse 1. Is there not an appointed time to man upon earth? Are not his days also like the days of and hireling, as a servant earnestly desireth the shadow, and as an hireling looketh for the reward of his work, so am I made to possess months of vanity, and wearisome nights are appointed to me. When I lie down, I say, when shall I arise, and the night be gone, and I am full of tossings to and fro until the dawning of the day. In other words, uh, he's tossing and turning at night. Verse 5. My flesh is clothed with worms and clods of dust. My skin is broken and become loathsome. Uh, so is this talking about when he's, his body is dead and buried? Verse 6. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle and are spent without hope. Oh, remember that my life is wind. Mine eye shall see, I'm sorry, mine eye shall no more see good. Well, that reminds me of a cross-reference verse in James 4.14. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. All right, Job 7, 6. My days are swifter than a weaver's beam and are spent without hope. Oh, remember that my life is wind. You know, the wind's here today and blows away and you don't know where it goes, right? My life is wind, mine eye shall no more see good. The eye of him that hath seen me shall see me no more. Thine eyes are upon me, and I am not. As the cloud is consumed and vanisheth away, so he that goeth down to the grave shall come up no more. He shall return no more to his house, neither shall his place know him any more. Therefore I will not refrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. Now, here's a little thing to uh, think about, people. Job speaks about the anguish of his spirit and complaining in the bitterness of his soul. So, he differentiates between the spirit and his soul. So, man has a body, a spirit, and a soul. And God was made, uh, God made man in his image. God made man in his image. God, by, the man has a body, a soul, and a spirit. Think about that. Next time somebody says, well, Trinity's a false doctrine. You know, and then they show you a three-headed God. You know. Got to watch those deceivers. You need to spend time in the Bible. That's what you need to do. Therefore, I will not refrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. 
Am I a sea or a whale that thou settest a watch over me? When I say, My bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaint. When thou scarest me with dreams, oh, then thou scarest me with dreams, and terrifiest, terrifiest me through visions. Dreams and visions, right? So that my soul chooseth strangling and death rather than my life. Wow, his soul would rather see death than live. I've actually, uh, I know how that goes. I really do. There was a time I was so sick, I looked forward to dying. So I, I know how that goes. So that my soul chooseth strangling and death rather than my life. I loathe it. I would not live always. Let me alone, for my days are vanity. What is vanity? Something worthless. What is man that thou shouldest magnify him, and that thou shouldest set thine heart upon him, and that thou mayest visit him every morning, and try him every morning? How long wilt thou not depart from me, nor let me alone, till I swallow down my spittle? I have sinned. I have sinned. Those are probably the three words that the Lord loves to hear out of our mouths the most. And if you're bragging about it, you got it wrong. I have sinned. What shall I do unto thee, O thou preserver of men? Why hast thou set me as a mark against thee, so that I am a burden to myself? And why dost thou not pardon my transgression, and take away mine iniquity. For now shall I sleep in the dust, you know, dead. For now shall I sleep in the dust, and thou shalt seek me in, in the morning, but I shall not be. All right, that's the end of Job chapter 7. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and his only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen.